Chris Cava was a member of a notorious gang in South London called the Six Seven Gang. And in the days before he was shot dead by the armed policeman Martin Blake, he was actually accused of being involved in two separate shooting incidents. One in Brixton just the night before uh, he was killed and one a few days earlier at a nightclub in Hackney. He has been in jail a number of times. Look at his bloody face. Uh, James O'Brien, I'm on about to, uh, he's just devastated, isn't he? Uh, and those convictions going all the way back to when he was 13 years old, including um, offences for stabbing with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. The way he looks up, <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't say racism on this. He, he actually did something wrong. Farm, uh, possession of an imitation firearm uh, and also uh, involvement in uh, the gang as well. There was an interim gang order in place to uh, put restrictions on some of those members of the 6-7 gang, of which there are uh, dozens of known members as it stands. We can... Right then, so I'm just gonna go to town on LBC for a bit. Uh, the poisonous liberal channel that's, is the mindset that's really destroyed uh, the Western world as far as I see it. So it's great to see the comments, so he's been absolutely pounded in the comments. Um, O'Brien coming to, come to, coming to terms with the fact that he may be a huge ballard. <laughs> he, he is. I only watched this for the, the satisfaction of watching O'Brien squirm. Bear in mind this is on the LBC channel as well. So LBC presenters and uh, managers will actually read these comments. It's not like a separate channel. Um, James O'Brien looks as if he is in physical pain of the news that a black man did actually commit the crime. O'Brien almost in tears because he can't say Carbar was a victim. Uh, James O'Brien looks gutted he can't play the race card and blame Brexit for this one. Carbar's family went to have a reality check instead of playing the victims. O'Brien choking on reality. You can see O'Brien's discomfort at hearing the truth. Aspiring architect, according to his family, the only thing he knew how to draw was a gun. LBC and James getting absolutely roasted in their comments like the BBC, Sky and Guardian. Everyone's had enough of their bullshit, and it has to be said. Um, LBC have had their own way for a long time. It's nice to see that they're getting a good fucking pound in at last. Uh, Brian's devastated. James O'Brien's a clown. O'Brien looks gutted. Never seen him so quiet. When the truth doesn't fit your warped narrative. Uh, parents blaming society. Blame yourself first. You can't handle the truth, Mr. O'Brien. Uh, you can physically see the cogs going round to see... Uh, how he can spin this, classic. Uh, just a nice, misunderstood boy who would help an old lady across the road. <laughs> uh, James has been defending a nasty piece of work like a barrister defending his low-life client. So a violent criminal trying to crash his car into any, anyone around him without caring who he killed. Shame on anyone who supported this evil man. It's disgusting it went to trial in the first place. Someone has put the sad parts on Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> O'Brien can't handle this. O'Brien is clearly devastated at this news. James O'Belland didn't look comfortable with facts instead of feelings, did he? Oh dear, O'Brien clearly upset that the policeman was correct. Uh, and his family claim he's a victim. What did he think would happen by ramming on, on police officers? It was just a poor defenseless criminal trying to ram police cars. O'Brien looking pain that he can't defend that. O'Brien will be heartbroken that the truth about this villain has come to light. O'Brien looks gutted hearing about this. Another wrong horse he's backed. Look at O'Brien's face, he looks painted at hearing the truth. James thinking how he can make this white man's fault somehow. Uh, James looks heartbroken. The family were on TV yesterday asking what sort of society allows so many black males to be killed by the police. The answer to this question is that we now have a society multicultural where black criminals are using guns and knives to cause carnage in London and ordinary Londoners are often living in fear of their neighbours like a bar. Londoners think London is unsafe, they want to leave, but full marks to the family for trying to present this individual as an angel and a victim of the authorities who have a duty to keep London safe. O'Brien <laughs> about to drop to tears. Why does O'Brien look mad that he can't race bait no more? Uh, caller, how dare you state facts on the James O'Brien show? <laughs> James looks upset at the truth. He will still think the gangster is innocent. Look at the disappointment in his face. He's thinking, please shut up. Sorry for your loss, James. 
How can I blame this on the Tories? O'Brien's discomfort at hearing facts is both equally entertaining and alarming. Uh, come on, LBC, BBC Sky, apologise to the glory, police officer that you didn't back, but instead make made that criminal seem like an innocent person. Uh, what is outrageously disgusting is his family playing the race card, hoping to get compensation. O'Gammon's face is priceless here when he realises he can't weaponise this incident in the way he wanted. <laughs> uh, look at him desperately trying to find an angle. Um, at last, uh, so I'm just going to make sure a few things I wanted to point out of O'Brien's face during it. As you can see him squinting there, like trying to. Um, he's surprised at what he's hearing, but there's a moment when he looks up and he grimaces almost. Uh, not that. There you go. There you go. Look at that face there. <laughs> When is you know like when the facts are coming out and you can't twist it to your anti-racist narrative that you just go on about every single day? Absolute vile piece of shit that he is. Um, he's a traitor as far as I see it. Because the thing is, at least like the say the black community, they look out for each other. The Muslim community, they look out for each other. And you got this absolute scumbag and all the rest of them. Look at his face there. That absolute scumbag. And you'll go down in history, mate. You really will. People will remember what people like you did during this time period. All it's going to take is for some massive civil unrest, you know, the collapse and breakdown of Western civilization, you know, and um, you never know. You never know what's around that corner. So I'd be very, it's not a threat as such, it's just looking for possibilities of what could happen in the near future with the breakdown of law and order that we're seeing now. You never know how far that could go. So I'd, uh, I'd think. I mean, fair enough, you're entitled to your opinion, but you're just such a weak, soppy little coward. That's the thing. It's so easy to do what you do, where you go against your own people. You know, we're being invaded, replaced, colonised, and you're on the side of people who are replacing us, invading us, colonisers, colonising us. And um, there's nothing hard about going with the flow. People like myself are, go are swimming against the swimming against the tide here. But people like yourself take the easy option, take your nice little paycheck, work in your cosy little st studio, uh, sniggering at ordinary working class people after live with the policies you um, you encourage. You know, you're you're a scumbag, mate. And one day, it'll be remembered what you did. Because the thing is, if if things carry on as they are, the um, the history books will write about people like you, absolute traitors. Um, you know, how did Western civilization collapse? And it, people like yourself will be, be remembered for what you did. You know, you encouraged it all. Even when the warning signs like this are right in front of your face, you can't take it. Um, I'll get five more comments, I'll knock it on the head. Uh, so my deepest sympathies to all those at LBC. I feel your pain at the loss of such a fine, upstanding Labour supporter. Uh, the fact it actually went to court was an absolute joke. Uh, I knew there was a gap in this story, none of it made sense. Yes, there are miscarriages of justice, but we need to call this as it is. I have no problem with the outcome of the situation. Don't know what's funny, the look of O'Brien's face, or the nutters in the comments section still trying to defend him. <laughs> O'Brien is confused, it said he was an aspiring architect in The Guardian. There we go. So, uh, quite nice, almost quite refreshing to, uh, to read all them comments, because it just goes on and on, you know, how many comments are there? Uh, 1,800, roughly. You know, the guy's been absolutely pounded, along with LBC. There's nothing here that's on their side. You know, while the, this race, you know, this one here, while that race car backfired, poor James, he doesn't know what to do now. And it just goes on and on. He's been absolutely hammered. It's lovely to see. You're an absolute piece of shit. You're a scumbag and you're a traitor.